Oni. 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 Why are you standing out here all alone? It's cold outside. It's hot inside, so I'm alright. No, here. no, no, no. It's not. It's not. It's not. Only let's go inside. Everywhere is hot for someone like me. I feel insecure, with a feeling of apprehension all around me. I could feel better, perhaps if you let me know what is going on around me. I was asking you, who was that lady, and you were shouting me down. Hmm? Her name has kept on recurring the way to Miss Name kept coming on from when she, was, when she was alive. And I'm asking you again, who is Yetunde? Honey, I have told you she's to Miss Friend. You have seen her before, haven't you? I mean, she was the one that took us to the hospital where Tumi died. I mean, she is... I already know those facts. Okay. What else do you want to know? But I'm... But, but our calling has been too frequent. And yesterday evening, I overheard you discussing together on, on some amounts. You were saying you wouldn't be able to pay some certain amount. And I think she cut off the phone and you were trying to call her back. And it was suspicious how you could pick up a call in the living room and run outside to answer the call. What is wrong with you? I don't have time for all these irrelevant questions. I don't have time. But you can't ignore the question. Ah! You pull my shirt. Yeah! You slapped me. <laughs> you slapped me. You are treading the wrong path and I was telling you this and you still slapped me. I did not know that man of God. Ah! <laughs> Hello? Why did you keep cutting off the line, Reverend? You are playing on my patience. Have you now made up your mind? On what? You are asking me that question. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> about an hour ago, you were begging me not to increase it beyond 500,000 Naira. Because you couldn't meet the sunset deadline. Have you not made up your mind to make the 500,000 Naira available by 10 a.m. tomorrow? We have no deal. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we have no deal? You heard me, lady. Go and do your worst. Okay? Hello? Hello? I should. tell you that when I begin to do my worst, don't come back begging me. Because you may not know me. I have a very important information to pass across to you. Your 
I think he knows the man responsible for your wife's pregnancy. The man gave her money and persuaded her to go for the abortion. Are you sure? Are, are you sure of? Hello? Hello? Rencia knows the man. The man gave her money and persuaded her to. No. Impossible. Sorry for everything that happened. Please, I, I'm truly sorry. Please. Hello? Evening, sir. Am I on to Reverend Osia? Yes, Reverend Lucy on the line. May I know who is speaking? I am Clement Owese. Ha! Ah. Clement Owese. How are you? And uh, how is your child? We're all fine, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, yes. Someone called me just a few minutes ago that you know the man responsible for the pregnancy of my late wife. The caller said, you know the man responsible, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, yes, yes, I, I, I am listening. Uh, but the, the whole thing seems to me like a dream. Uh, now, who is the person? The voice sounded like that of a lady. The caller gave me no further information about herself. Uh, no, uh, it, it can't be true, uh, Mr. Wesse. It, it can't be true. You see, I, I think the person only wants to make you feel sad about the past incidents. Uh, no, 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 not at all, not at all. You see, uh, Mr. Clement, the, the old sh issue, you see, seems to us like a, a big surprise. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Greetings to mommy. Nice. Good, good, good night. Is that not to miss husband? Yes. <laughs> what was the problem with him? Hmm. He said. Somebody called him just now to tell him that he was responsible for Tumi's pregnancy and that we know him very well. <sighs> this lady has died. I mean, why should a ghost haunt this family endlessly? <sighs> In fact, 
I am completely fed up with the whole issue. Our friend was bombarding you with calls. Her husband has begun to call you too. I saw her in my dream, busting into our bedroom and sitting on her bed. I hope you don't know anything disturbing about this lady. And I hope 